Oh boy. <laughs> you know, that looks painfully familiar. Oh. I can feel his pain. <laughs> a lot of us, you know, try to make that swing and just don't quite connect with the ball. It's a four hour round of golf and it's the worst when you do that on the first tee and you're like, you know what, I quit. I'm done. I'm going to go back and get a drink. <laughs> uh, this morning we got some great tips on what to do to improve your game and never cry like a baby on the green. That's just bad etiquette. I'm John Wade, head golf professional, Sea Island Golf Club, home of the PGA Tours RSM Classic. Today I'm going to show you some tips about green reading. One of the first things you can do is as you approach the green, take an overall view of the green, especially from the front. You'll be able to see if the green is maybe higher in the back, lower in the front, or higher in the front, lower to the back. It's going to help you get an overall sense of how the green lays. Okay, we've kind of surveyed the green from the front of the green. Now, good rule of thumb is to, to get behind the ball, get behind the the putt here and, and, and squat down and what I'm looking for, I'm looking for if one side's higher than the other, I'm looking for any dramatic slope changes. I'm also looking for if the grass is shiny. If it's a little shiny, that means I'm going with the grain and the putt's going to be a little faster. If it's dark, I'm going into the grain, which will cause the putt to be slower. The slower the putt, the more break we need to play. This putt that I have here, a little bit left to right and it's a little bit shiny so I'm going with the grain and it should roll out pretty quickly. If you would like to see this tip again visit firstcoastnews.com or rsmclassic.com. We'll be watching. Love it. Thank you for that. <laughs>